Yeah, last weekend I posted a um, an issue I was having using uh, Satscape, trying to use Satscape after I've used CCleaner to clean away um, many uh, temp files, cookies, temporary internet files, all that sort of stuff. Uh, what it was doing was uh, clearing out a whole stack of files in um, in the temporary files from Sun Java which makes Satscape run. Uh, I posted the, the details about the problem onto uh, the Satscape site. Didn't really get much action out of there. A few people looked at it, but uh, I didn't get any replies. But I also made a short video clip <coughs> similar to this one. And um, I did get a reply from uh, VK3HAU Michael in, um, in my own state. So uh, we'll bring up, um, up CCleaner. What I didn't do was check for updates on CCleaner. I thought I did have the latest version, but uh, looking around CCleaner, there was no um, there was no uh, tool to actually modify it or streamline it so it wouldn't take those files away. So uh, we're just doing a, a short scan at the moment, and uh, it's looking for. Uh, all this stuff on the left hand side, all these temporary files, system files that uh, that it wants to get rid of. So here we go now. Um, yeah, so in the previous scans listed were um, were Satscape files. They're no longer there. The reason for that is that uh, in the latest version they have uh, this here wasn't there before, exclude. Now if you go to exclude, what I have done here, and in my case this is where the files were, uh, C column backslash documents and settings backslash now this will be your username and then application data sun java deployment and everything under that deployment tab so basically you you, you go into exclude um, and then you can uh, add a folder or add a file but add a folder in this case and then just uh, locate that folder as you can see there it's under the under that heading there and add it to there and then you should have no problems each time you use this program then it should leave that, uh, uh, that Sun, Sun Java folder alone and you should be able to run Satscape without any problems but in the past the previous well what was happening was that it would just kill Satscape not have to actually download it off the web again it's the only way I could get it to run again there we go yeah thanks very much for that Michael and uh, I hope this helps someone out